What's up everybody? Today we're at Devon House in Kingston, Jamaica. We are here to check out the food and see what other good stuff they have. Devon House has been named as one of the gastronomy hubs of Jamaica. It's actually the first gastronomy hub named in Jamaica by the Minister of Tourism. So we're here to check out the food. We'll check out the steakhouse. We'll check out the patties. Try to get a curry goat patty. Check out everything that I have. The ice cream. Get some good Devon House goat ice cream. Walking up, you can smell the bakery and it's just intense. It smells like cocoa bread with butter and all sorts of goodness coming out of there. Can't wait to try this curry goat patty. You know, there's certain things that goat must have. You must have a local goat. We don't want mutton when we're having curry goat. The curry must be seasoned properly. It must have all the ingredients that make up a proper curry goat. So to put that into a patty with the flaky crust, we have to go see what I want. That looked very interesting. Oh, I forgot to try that too. That looked very interesting. Afternoon. Can I get uh, two curry goat patty, please? You have any Akian saltfish patty? Yes. Can I, you want one of those? Akian oh, saltfish? No, no curry goat patty. You don't want Akian saltfish? Yeah, I'm really curry goat. Um, yeah, can I get two curry goat and uh, Akian saltfish then, please? Sure. I have to try the Akian saltfish. I can see that and get that too. Fresh out of the bakery. We okay, can't wait for getting at this. We have the curry goat patty, we have the aki patty. This is the appetizer, and then boom, look who it is. The original himself. We are David Uncle Sweeney. This is the aki. Or is this the goat? This is the aki. This is the gold, yeah, I see the coloring. See the coloring. <laughs> I can't wait to get into this curry goat in a patty. I'm tell you, there's certain things that you have to have when you're having curry goat. It has to be spicy, it has to have the proper seasoning, it has to be tender. Oh, look at the flakes on that. That's a nice piece of goat right there, there we go. Flakiness of the patty and you can see the curry inside. All the goat meat in there. Good seasoning. Nice flavor. Nice pepper on it. Goat cooked really well. Nice and tender, like not tough. I'm not sure if it's local though. Ooh, nice, eh? mm. This is good. They have to come down and come try curry goat patty. A shot. Yo, I knew that I said this was going to be an appetizer, but there's like a pound of goat meat in there. There's so much meat in there, it's like really good. It's not like beef patty where you get a little bit of beef and all the other things in there. But this shit is loaded. So we just had that great curry goat patty. It was loaded with goat. The flavor was awesome. It was seasoned perfectly. There's still some heat in my mouth from the pepper. And we're heading over to the steakhouse. We're going to link up with Chef Sweeney. You remember Chef Sweeney from the videos with Mark Queens? He's now running the steakhouse at Devon House. So we're going in there to see what them have. Have some beef, have some good food. Good afternoon, I'm Carl Campbell, manager at the Steakhouse and I just want you guys to know that we have one of the best service in Kingston, quality food and excellent staff. So you're all invited to come over and experience what we have to offer at affordable prices, high quality. Tell us how we did our link up with Sweeney. Brat, 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 brat. <laughs> We're gonna just dive right in. No 
of sucker for steak. You have a nice sear on it. You can see that it's seared very well. The inside is just juicy and full of that juice. You come here, you have this, you have some nice steak, you have a red wine with this. You pair it, and any time you want somewhere to go out and have some just real good food, Devon House has told you it's a mecca for food in Jamaica. It's a gastronomy hub. You have Chef Sweeney running the steakhouse now. Can't get any better than that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, man. That's so good. Very tender, not over seasoned. I don't like my, se my steak to be too seasoned. Salt, pepper to me is the only thing you really need on steak. And they just have this right. The sauce has such a sweet flavor. It puts it really into context when you're having the beef. And then the fresh vegetables underneath, al dente style. That's why I like them. They're not overcooked. Mm. Real good. Real good stuff. Big up, Chef Greener. The steak is on point. There are a lot of places in Jamaica that don't know how to cook a good steak, but this place gives you a really good steak. I was very impressed when they came out and they asked me the temperature of my steak. That's very important sometimes when cooking. That beautiful tenderloin. It does, it looks gorgeous. Right away, just sticking the fork into it, it's so soft. Sometimes you don't want that overcooked steak, that sweet steak, something that just charges in your mouth if you do it on a grill or something that's just too tough. Like a lot of the local steaks and stuff that we have there, they use tenderize or they beat it. Sometimes it's too tough. This steak is cooked perfectly. The tenderloin, where you're just getting the beef, you're not getting a whole heap of seasoning or anything or rubs that are put on it. It's not too seasoned. I'm getting the beef flavor and it's just a wonderful piece of meat. This is how it should be done. The beef, you're not getting a whole heap of seasoning or anything or rubs that are put on it. It's just the flavor of beef. So if you're a beef lover, you love steak, you love a nice meal, I would recommend the steakhouse any day of the week. Janos, if no work at some I'm this every day, dog. Every day. I'll be eating out the profit. Yeah, yeah. This mac and cheese is absolutely amazing. So creamy, so rich. The pasta in it, everything about it is just absolutely wonderful. This whole property is just amazing. And the fact that it's a gastro hub with all the food places they have is just incredible. For you to be able to get patty, ice cream, anything you actually want here, a steakhouse, dinner, you can come here at any time. The grounds are lovely. There's lots to do here. The, the greenery and shrubbery in the place in the middle of Kingston, it's actually a historical fact that this was built by Jamaica's first black millionaire. After you've had the steak, you have to check out La Pizzeria. What kind of pizza is it? It's a traditional? It's a traditional Italian pizza, Roman style, I mean thin crust. Nice. Yeah man. Yes. Fire, bacon on a handmade brick over. Our dough is a kind of fast cooking mean you're gonna rise over 12, 18 hours. The most important thing is fresh, you know? Yes, the freshness, everything on it is fresh. Yeah man. Yeah, we use a fast beer if you work. As you can see, in a traditional way. Yeah. The pizza has to be personalized. Uh, you see there's no pin rollers, there's no, everything is hand -packed. Yes, I am. Once you want to test a little bit of Italy, taste a little bit of Italy. You get capricciosa, you get bruschetta, which is not bruschetta. 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 Right. Italian pronunciation. Oh, uh, for me, for example, I'm kind of, you know, stick with Jamaica. So yeah. we create the Kalalu and Aki pizza. Man. Which is... That sounds bad. Kalalu and Aki pizza. Yeah, bad. That sounds mad. Bad for real, very right, much. I can tell you. And we have the jerk chicken pizza. And these are in-house fresh sauces that you do yourself as well. Yeah, man. Everything. Everything has to be fresh. Everything. Diced tomato, sauce, everything. The brick oven going to get in Celsius. It's between 400 and 500. In Fahrenheit, it's 750, 800. Wow. And I'm going to take like less than two minutes to bake a pizza. And you made that oven yourself? Yeah. That's awesome. Sorry, my mom, she's Jamaican. My yeah. dad Italian, so 
When I, when I so, you, so that pizza represents you in a lot of ways. Okay, you get the point. Yeah, man. You get the point. I mean, what I did over here is just be myself, you know? Like, yeah, man. You know, so the boss just pull out some fresh Callaloo and Ike. I really, the Ike and the Callaloo, the boss just pull out. Callaloo and Aki pizza. Boom. <laughs> Not where you use the scoop, take it up, have to keep scooping and spinning, scooping and spinning. Bro, it it dips, it lowers, it hires, it brings the pizza right up to the fire. You can smell all of that freshness now that you just have. Wow. Wicked, wicked, big up, big up, big up, that bad, that bad. <laughs> On the pizza. <laughs> Are you enough. walking away? <laughs> oh, <good. laughs> no, no, this is, this is wicked. Wow, look at that. And we got four different types of pizza in one pizza. So four different types. He gave you, he said that his parents are half Italian, half Jamaican. So it's a true symbol of him. Gives you the ackee, gives you the jerk chicken. Gives you the pizza margarita along with just the regular bruschetta. And he said don't call it bruschetta, bruschetta is the real way to say it in Italian. <laughs> he must know. Because it's authentic. Oh wow, this is beautiful. Look at all those colors. Look at that pizza. Devon House Scout Ice Cream, it's actually been named as one of the top five places to have ice cream in the world by National Geography. So we'll see exactly what they have in store. Today. One scoop really means two at Devon House. 